Welcome everybody to Carol's Art Room. Today in this video, I'm going to do a double dip. I did one earlier, you might have seen it. Inspired by Fiona Art. Check her channel out. Anyways, I'm going to do the same technique on an 8x10 double dip. So let's see how this one turns out. And uh, stick around and uh, I'll show you how. All right, everyone, here I am in my art room getting ready to do the dip. So welcome. If you're new here, please subscribe to my channel. It, uh, and like, it helps me keep doing videos for you guys. So I'm gonna do my double dip now. So what I'm going to do, I, these are eight by 10 canvases. And I'm going to, this is going to be my top, I've decided. I'm going to do it vertical. Get my, my uh, palette knife. So this is the purple, it's Diax is in purple and um, this one, Quinacridone Violet mixed together. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave a space, I'm gonna do it right around here. Okay, so now the magenta. Which is Quinacridone magenta. I have some rose gold, no actually copper. Sorry, copper. I'll 
little bit of yellow. And then I have a uh, turquoise. This is um, cobalt blue turquoise hue mixed with this phalo turquoise to just mix two together. I'm just gonna put it near the near the one side. Put a little bit more purple. I can remember correctly she did put quite a bit of paint so I want to make sure I have enough this is eight two eight by ten canvases enough here. I did one earlier and it didn't turn out so I had to scrape all the paint off and there was a bare spot near the bottom that didn't get enough paint on it so I'm just gonna make sure there's enough down here. So I think there's enough. Let's see if I can show you the thickness here. You see how it makes a mound? This this is I made these paints a little thicker than the white. Alright, see we can do this. Take these two. I'm just gonna put this one right on top. I always the where the color is you want to start with it at the top when I stand it up and pull it apart. So the last time I did it backwards. it over. I'm 
This is where the color is. I hope I'm not, now I'm probably too close to you. Uh, you'll see it good then. I'm gonna try and put my hands together. Squeeze it. Okay, let's try this. You just open it slow. And cross your fingers. Oh, it's going way down. Whoa. Well, that's pretty. Different than I expected, but it's pretty good. I like it. I was thinking it would be wider, but that's fine. Well, everything's covered. down. Go get a skinnier stick. I'll try a toothpick. Okay, I'm going to torch it. It's very cool. Very cool. I think most of these wrinkles will um, smooth out. If you see any bare spots on your for your canvas, just take your finger over it. There. I think I'm gonna leave it and see how it dries. That's what I call abstract flower. did one earlier. If you look back on in Carol's art room, you'll see a previous one to this. I don't know exactly what number it is because it's going to be probably around six, seven hundred, six ninety eight maybe. Anyways, it's there. It'll be there before this one anyways because this has to dry for a couple of days. So, yeah, come back to Carol's Art Room. And please uh, subscribe and comment below and let me know what you think. <coughs> let me know what your favorite colors are for this, this technique. And I'll try and do it. Have a great day, everyone. And 
see you in the next video hi everyone here's my dried dip it's the second one that i've done it's kind of cool it's really an abstract flower painting i would say i can call it a flower i guess it's all in the eye of the beholder anyway i like it it's dried dried really nice smooth it's so cool how they both come out a little bit different this one had a little more paint on it than this one did. It's very cool. I like them. I'm going to do some more. So I hope you like this one and uh, come back to Carol's Art Room. Please subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye-bye.